Okay. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunatu Saha Viryam Karabhavai Tejasvina Bhadita Mastu Mabibisha Bhai Om Shanti 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 Om. Please come to the top of your mats. Standing, Samastiti He. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, let's chant the Ashtanga mantra. We'll do a call and response. It's been a while since I've done it. So Samasthiti he joins the big toes touching, outside edges of the feet parallel, legs engaged, chest lifted, shoulders up. Oh, one day, Gurunam, Chana, Vinde. Sundar Shita Swatma Sukhava Bode Sundar Shita Swatma Sukhava Bode Nishreya Se Jandali Kaya Mane Nishreya Se Jandali Kaya Mane Samsara Hala Hala Moha Shantye Samsara Hala Hala Moha Shantye Abahu Prushakaram, Abahu Prushakaram, Shankachakrasi Darinam, Shankachakrasi Darinam, Sahasra Shirsam Shvetam, Sahasra Shirsam Shvetam, Pranamami Patanjali, Pranamami Patanjali, Om. Strong feet, strong legs, breathing, inhaling. Exhaling, Ujjayi, there's a sound to the breath. The inhale breath pulls the low belly in, Udiyana Panda. The exhale lifts the pelvic floor. Let's begin. Inhale, take your arms up, palms press, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, drop your head, look at your nose. Inhale, bend your knees and put some weight into your hands. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, the low plank position. Inhale, pulls forward, upward facing. And exhale, back, downward facing. So here you have your first Sri Namaskara A. So the index finger roots press firmly down onto the mat. The outside edges of the hands also do too. There's a little internal rotation at the elbows. That's to help you not hyperextend, and then externally rotate at the shoulders. Let the head drop completely. Draw the bellies in, the hips go way up and back. After your five breaths here, come to the end of your exhale, bend your knees, suck your bellies in, inhale, hop forward. So inhale, hop between your hands, or walk. Exhale, drop your head and fold. Inhale, take your arms overhead, position one, Palms press, look thumbs, and exhale, Sama Sidi. Take them, inhale, take your arms up. Dwe, exhale, forward. Trini, inhale, prepare energy in your hands. Chitwari, exhale, back and down, the other under the thumbs. Inhale, Pancha. Exhale, shut down, up. So we're at position six now. So this vinyasa, it's three namaskar A, has nine vinyasas, okay? So we actually do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we do three, two, one again, but we call them seven, eight, and nine. So come to the end of your exhalation, bend your knees, suck your bellies, and look where you're going. Inhale, start, and travel and float with the inhale. Exhale, drops the head and folds. Inhale, rise is strong, palms pressed overhead, look at your thumbs, and exhale, Sama Sidi. 
Once again, a the inhale, the arms go up, palms press with thumbs. You weigh, exhale, fold forward, drop your head, slip at your knees. Tree inhale, bend the knees, prepare. Chitori exhale, back and down. Ponch inhale, upward facing, broaden across the chest. Exhale, downward facing. Breathe for five, inhaling. Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale five, preparing. Inhale, hop. Exhale, fold. Inhale to the top. Palms press, look thumbs. And exhale, swans to the feet. Inhale, arms up, palms press, look thumbs. Do I exhale, fold, drop your head, look at your nose. Trini, inhale, prepare. Chitori, exhale, back and down. Ponch, inhale, upward facing. Shot, exhale, downward facing. So, Christina, why don't you keep your stance a little bit longer? Like, you seem to walk your feet in a lot. You're very flexible, which means that you can do that. And more broadening across the chest and upper facing dog, I think. Okay, so you really get that. I saw you respond to that, so that looked really good. Okay. Um, and also, hands stay on the floor, okay? So they stay on, they are your foundation the whole time. Feet are too but hands got to stay down. So when you jump forward here, don't take the hands off the floor until you come up to the last position. All right, come to the end of the exhale, bend the knees before you're going. Inhale, travels. Exhale, folds. Good. Now inhale, strong. Arms overhead, palms press. And exhale, strong. One more three, namaskar A. Inhale, eight, come inhale, arms up, palms press with thumbs. Dway, exhale, fold forward, drop your head, look at your nose. Trini, inhale, energy goes into the hands. Chitori, exhale, back and down. Ponch, inhale, upward facing. And shot, exhale, downward facing. Good, breathe and hold. All right, roll your biceps more away from your ears, Maggie. Yeah, take your hands a little bit wider apart. Yeah, let's do that. Now, now take the shoulders out. Yes. Yes, okay. And you've got just that little tendency to hyperextend at the elbows, so watch that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Come to the end of the exhale, bend the knees, inhale, hops. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise strong. And exhale, song to the Okay, so we're not star B. Eight them inhale, bend the knees, palms press. Look thumbs, Utkatasana. Dway, exhale, fold, Utkatasana. Trini, inhale, prepare. Chitwari, exhale, back and down. Ponch, inhale, fold forward. Shot, exhale, press back. Soften, inhale, right foot comes forward from the energy of the back heel. Bring it up to warrior one. And exhale to the floor. Chaturanga Dandasana, push up. Inhale, gives you upward facing, open, broaden. Exhale, gives you downward facing, left foot coming forward, energy off the right heel. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it to the floor. Inhale, gives you upward facing. Exhale, gives you downward facing. Breathe and hold, five breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Finishing up. Inhale, hop. Exhale, four. Inhale, bend the knees, settle into the heels, palms press, look, thumbs, ukatasana. And exhale, stand up. Take a inhale, bend the knees, do the way exhale, fold forward. 
Trini inhale, prepare. Chitwari, exhale, back and down. Punch, inhale, upward facing. Shot, exhale, downward facing. Soft inhale, right foot forward. Asha, exhale to the floor. Nava, inhale, pulls forward. Dasha, exhale, presses back. A Kadasha brings your other foot forward. Dwadasha takes it to the floor. Triodasha, inhale. Chaturdasha, exhale. Breathe and hold. Good. Okay, so the back foot always has the power, and this is one of the first places you really see it, is when you You've got to get that back foot in place so you can use your inhale to get you up. So take a little bit of that exhale of the down dog, preparing for your warrior when your time comes. So moving along, come to the end of the exhale, bend the knees, punch the shot, inhale, hop. Shoulder shot, exhale, hold. Soft the shot, inhale, bend the knees, Mukhatasana. Exhale, stand up. One more. Akam inhale, bend the knees. Yeah. Dwe exhale, fold. Trini inhale, prepare. Chitwari exhale, back and up. Anj inhale, pull forward. Shot exhale, press the back. Stop inhale, reach your foot forward. Asha exhale to the floor. Nava inhale, upward facing. Dasha exhale, downward facing. Plant your back heel, inhale, bring the other one forward. So turn and plant your heel down, is there, yeah, good. And exhale, face to the floor. Inhale, and exhale. Good. All right, breathe here. I'm going to go with wider hands for you again, Maggie. Yeah. Okay, let's come to the end of the exhale. Bend the knees. Initiate your inhale. Travel with your inhale. Panja to Shah. Show to Shah. Hold. Soft to Shah. Bend the knees. Palms press overhead. Hip thumbs. And exhale. Stand up. Akram inhale, jump your feet apart, take the yoga toe hold for Padmasana, not quite that far apart, a little bit in. Okay, so there's your inhale. Exhale, hold. Good. Now, I ask, so you can take your elbows and drive them, yep, you can do them, you can hug them into your thought, your calves like that, or you can take your elbows out to the side, but serve as you were, and try to drive the elbows away from one another. So that's a couple of different techniques there. You know, I actually like wrapping my elbows around my calves. I don't know, that feels pretty good to me. Anyway, it's about the arches in the feet and the inner thighs. Legs are zipped up, quadriceps. So I often suggest to, Bend the knees just a little bit, and then feel the quadriceps straighten, straighten the leg. So let's take an inhale breath and lengthen the spine here, and straighten the arms and keep the back of the neck long. And exhale, slip your hands underneath your feet for padahasasana. Okay, take another inhale, and then exhale, fold and enjoy. So here, we try to get that stretch in the wrist, okay? So that's one of the things. And then it's feel your feet with your hands and your hands with your feet. It's rather remarkable. All right. Parahasthasana. Inhale, lengthen the spines. Exhale, put your hands at your waist with your belly strong under your fingertips. Inhale, rise strong, energy in the heels. Exhale, jump your feet together, arms strong, arms up your legs. Inhale, turn to your right, prepare for triangle pose. Turn your right foot directly to the back end of the mat. So the other way around, other way around. Right foot directly to the back of the mat, good. Yep, good, set it up, heels lined up. So, so it's a one breath, inhale to set up and prepare, arms are up, thank you. And do a exhale, take your posture. Okay, so the heels are lined up with one another. The back foot points ever so slightly towards the front, just to give you a little bit of purchase. The right ribs are long. 
Madrishi Sapatatham, Utita Trikonasana, the extended triangle. All right, so let's bring it up strong with the inhale, turn the feet at the same time to do the other side, and exhale, second side. So these standing postures are all like five, five pound. So when you come up out of this, you're in position four now, so you've got one more position of this. Okay. Really nicely done, ladies. Okay, so strong legs brings you up with an inhale, turn and square your hips to the back end of the mat, preparing for revolve triangle. So shorten the stance a little bit, keep the hips short in the stance, take an inhale breath, and exhale, takes the hand down. There you go. All right, so this is one of the places where you can really see different things that are fun to look at. So just leveling up the hips, good. It's all about the back leg, the strength. Let the strength in the back leg wrap the left ribs around. Take an inhale in your posture. Exhale, look down for balance. Inhale, come up, turn, get rep. Inhale, come up, turn. So all with the inhale, come on around. And exhale, second side. Uh, take your right foot over the other foot. Okay, great. Breathe deeply. Energy from the back leg wraps those right ribs around. All right, take a deep inhale in your pose. Exhale, look down. It's just for balance. Inhale, come upwards. And exhale, step to the front of the mat. Okay, and a lot of traditions do go out to the side like that. I just don't happen to do that. Um, okay, so eighth and inhale, step out again. Same alignment. It's going to be side angle posture. Okay. Eighth and inhale, step south. Wide, 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 wide stance. Arms are at shoulder height. That's your inhale breath. Exhale, bend the knee, place the hand on the floor or the forearm on the thigh. Foot, and the hand goes outside the foot. Yep, goes outside the foot. The knee drives into the hand, arm, the arm drives back. The back leg is super strong. And reach the fingertips up and over. Yes, so even the pinky side sort of comes down. Good. All right. So tuck your right hip under. Drive your left hip open. All right. Strong legs. Inhale brings you up and turn your feet at the same time. And exhale gives you seconds off. Good. Nice. Okay. All right. Good. Can you make your stance a little bit longer, Maggie? Okay. Great. Reach through the fingertips. Feel the side ribs. Feel the knee driving over to the left. Use the strong legs and an inhale to come up. And exhale, turn and face the back end of your mat. We're going to do the revolve side angle pose. So I instruct to drop down on your knee if you like. You can do it just like Christina's doing it. You can really do it any way you like. Okay. So press firmly, twist well. If you can get your shoulder outside your knee, and your hand on the floor outside your foot. That gives you one more piece of balance. Coming off of the back knee is really good. All right. Take an inhale in your posture. Exhale, look down. Inhale, come upwards. Exhale, set it up for second side. Good, let me see again. This is one where I really think that the back leg is so important. All right. In fact, my teacher always said, this is a standing pose. Make sure your full foot is on the floor. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's what she would tell us. Um, inhale in your posture. Exhale, look down. Inhale, come upwards. And exhale, step front. Samas D E. Okay. Inhale, open to the right. Feet will be parallel and wide. Hands go to the waist. Due, exhale, fold and release your hands to the floor. Sometimes you gotta stagger, but you gotta look good. Good. Now walk your hands so they're in line. Heels, the hands are in line with heels of the feet. Good. And bring the hands maybe a little bit closer together, Christina. What you want for your head is it just a barely brush on the floor. So if your legs are too wide or too narrow. Okay, you know, but there is a there is a degree at which you can open them anyway. Here, 
okay, you want to still have strength in your legs, all right? And this is, so this is a version, and this is the one where I like to just kind of set up, how is it going to work out for my legs? Keep the arches lifted, keep the inner legs strong, keep breathing, and let's come out with an inhale to lengthen the spine, straighten the arms. Exhale, hands go to the waist, feel the belly strong. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pause. Inhale, extend the arms out sideways. Exhale, put them back at the waist. Inhale here. And exhale, fold. Good. So this is B version. Sorry to father to not the B version. All right. Where hands are at the belly. Okay. Hands stay at the belly. You feel the breath above the belly button. Your legs stay zipped up. Inhale, breath. Pulls the belly in. Exhale, breath. Come in the pelvic floor. All right, let's breathe all the way up with an inhale. Exhale, get a pause. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale, exhale, fold. See what happens here? Cascade the arms over the shoulders. Good. So here is your head still brushing on the floor? No, I'm not asking you, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Strong legs, strong belly. Come up with an inhale. Exhale, drive your hands downward. Inhale, put your hands to your waist. Exhale, fold forward. Take your toe hold grip. Inhale, extends the spine. And exhale, holds deeply. Elbows go out to the sides and the shoulders are away from the ears. Okay. And um, what you're doing with that thumb action there is not, is not proper technique. <laughs> the thumb is supposed to, so I do give people um, a buy on this if they're working on their bunions, okay? But the thumb meets the two fingers there's a lot about this whole concept of binding around things in yoga. So let's bind. All right. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Connect the circles. Exhale, belly in, hands go to the waist. Inhale, rise. And exhale, step to the front of the mat. Okay, so we've stepped out three times. We're going to step out one more time. Inhale, step out, square the hips to the back end of the mat. This is Parsvo, Kanasana, hands behind the back, reverse prayer. Yeah, there you go. Good. I would say shorten your stance a little. Yep, Christina. Yep, good. Now, really drive off of that back leg as you take the pose. I want to really watch how this is working for both of you. Okay, so inhale to prepare and exhale, execute from the back leg. Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. Perfect. Perfect. And your hamstrings are just a little tighter. So, elbows press, palms press, elbows up. Good. Nicely done. Just use the big toe down there. Really nice alignment. Okay. Strong legs. Come on up with an inhale. See if you can set yourself completely up in the front with that inhale. And exhale. Pull. Remember that back leg. Come up, prisoner. Come up. Come up. Come on. Okay. Square yourself. Okay. Good. Now, really drive off of the back leg to make it happen. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now shift your weight into your front leg a little bit. Yes, okay, there you are. All right, good. All right. Okay, Parsha All right, strong legs, come on up, inhale. Exhale, steps to the front of the mat. Uchita Hasta, Padangustanasana. Left hand takes left waist, right leg comes up. Take the toe hold grip. Exhale, breathe and hold. All right, so this is getting taught a little bit different these days. We used to put our chin to our shin. Now they're requesting that you bring your leg up to your face. So bring your leg up to your face. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you go. Good. Yeah. So that's what they want you to do. So go ahead and take it up as high as you can. Yeah. And that was also always the assist to help people bring it up. So, okay, so take an inhale. And, bring, and take an inhale, and then exhale, take the leg out. And they're also asking you to keep the leg way up, too. So that's not the way I really practice, because I feel like it's 
Yeah, I think it would feel like it's better for you if you just have the leg out like this and be more kind of symmetrical and stuff. You're supposed to look in the opposite direction. Nice. Good. With the inhale brings you back to place. Exhale, your chin touches your shin somehow. Somehow. Lean over. <laughs> <laughs> inhale, extend your leg out and squeeze your way with both hands. And this was one of the places where I always used to, you know, practice, try to practice along. Inhale, exhale, release. Second side, right hand takes right waist, left leg comes up, use an inhale, and exhale, you can hold. Inhale here, exhale, takes the leg out. Look in the opposite direction. Inhale, brings it back to center. Exhale, the chin touches the shin. Inhale, head comes up. Exhale, squeeze the waist. Breathe and hold, point the toe. Keep going. Inhale, a little higher. And exhale, brings it down. Ardha Buddha Padmatanasana, half lotus standing forward fold. So let's see what you got for your right leg coming up in half lotus. Put your left leg. Okay, good. Can you take your right hand around your back and take your foot? Ooh, you can. Okay, go ahead and you stay in position. Okay, you stay in position and hold your foot underneath like this. And just be as good as you can and you go on down. Good. And eventually we do want your chin to touch your shin. Okay, so this is a beautiful demonstration of this. All right. And here's the count coming out. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hold. Inhale, rise, holding on to the foot. And exhale, release the foot. Good. Inhale sets up on the other side. And it's actually one breath. Inhale to set up. And exhale to fold. So see how that works for you. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of... Lovely. Okay. Inhale, lengthens the spine. Exhale, holds. Inhale, up strong. Hold on to the foot. Hold on to the foot. And exhale, thumbs. Good. Dessert time. Inhale, arms up. Palms press. Look, thumbs. Exhale, fold. Drop your head. So look at your nose. Inhale, prepare. Jump back. Exhale, jump back. Hands on the floor. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, hop, Ukatasana, fierce pose. So inhale, hops, exhale, settles, arms are up overhead, good, fierce pose. Okay, so we, we've done this in our Surya Namastara Bs, but we didn't hold it, so now we just hold it for five minutes. Energy goes into the heels a lot, bellies in, sit bones try to broaden, palms press. Take an inhale in your posture. Exhale, fold. Inhale, crow pose. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Right foot forward. Inhale, warrior to one. Same thing. Got to breathe and hold and do this for five. Okay, so back heel on the floor, Maggie. Yes. Is there any reason that you're okay? That's fine for you, is it? Or is it a knee? Okay, good. So drive deep to the back outer edge of your foot. All right. Good. All right. Inhale. Begin to straighten your right leg and turn to face me back here. And exhale. Take the pose to the back. Beautiful. Okay, so that back foot, just really keep that leg strong and press through that back foot. Okay, inhale here, exhale, turn to your right and open into warrior two position. So arms go down and show exactly. The, the, the length of the pose can lengthen. The left knee drives to the left. That back foot is ever so strong again. 
foot. Inhale, begin to straighten the left leg and turn the feet towards the front. And exhale, this is the very end of the standing poses. Good, nicely done. So work the arch in the front foot, okay, by driving the knee to the right, okay? Work the arch in the back foot by pressing on the fifth metatarsal, the outside edge of the foot. Okay, take an inhale in your posture. Exhale, hands can go to the floor, preparing for a kick up. Okay, yep, kick up. Inhale, kick up. Yes, exhale, chaturanga. Nice, okay. Hope everybody saw that one. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, so we're gonna move into back bends, shoulder stands, and head stands. So I wanna see how you all do. Do you jump through? Let's see what, you, let's see what your jump throughs look like. What, what techniques do you use? The try to get to the top of the can. Okay, let's see that. Okay, so I think, that, I think that that is the best way. That's the best way. I never had confidence to do it that way. Do you do it at all? You never try. Okay, so. Try doing it this way, all right? So you're in down dog, and you bring, you know, you gotta bring, you gotta come up over here at some point, right? So you're in down dog, and you bring one of your knees forward, and then you scooch your other one, and then you, wow, I, I bruised my tail, okay? and then you sit down. How does that work? Yeah. Okay, um, try it. Okay, try it again. Try it both knees, okay? I think that that might be a good way for you. But always go one, like for me, for sure, one knee is better than the other. So, um, okay, you guys both good with back bends? Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and lay down the back. Good. And let's just put the feet on the floor. We'll just do a little bridge here first, just to kind of warm up a little bit. So, inhale. Exhale, squeeze your glutes and press your hips up. Little bridge, little bridge. Okay. So breathe here. Take it just as easy as you like. Feel your feet, feel your knees driving towards one another. Feel your glutes engaged, your hips are pointing up. Okay, take an inhale and then exhale, articulate down. Okay, now let's take an inhale breath. It's interesting. Exhale. Squeeze your glutes and push your hips up. And, uh, back ends are typically done with the inhale breath. So here I want you to bend your elbows and let your fingertips point to the ceiling. Nope, no, 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 not alongside your body. Yep, fingertips point to the ceiling. Now get your elbows in close to your body. Good. Now press firmly down into your elbows, firmly down into the back of your upper arms, your shoulders. Really press down firmly. This is a prep now, okay? So you take a deep inhale here. Exhale, you release down while you're now going to plant your hands by your ears. And inhale, you pop up into your back bend, which I think is going to be pretty easy for you all. Good. All right. Okay, good. So breathe here if you have any discomfort because there wasn't a lot of warm up for back bends here. In fact, there's almost no warm up for back bends in um, the primary series other than just moving the spine around. Okay, so let your toes point ever so slightly more in that. Yeah, good. So a lot of times you'll feel as though, okay, press up with your inhale, exhale, come down to the top of your head or release completely as you like. Inhale and bring it back up again. So your choice, right? So it's three back bends, five breaths each, all right? All right, keep it comfortable. Go ahead and let your toes ever so slightly, Christina, come in. Yeah, yes, yeah, good. Good, looks good. Nice. Okay, come down when you're ready, and then you can go back up to your third. Christina, do you drop back? Um, yeah, I can. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Can you come up to standing from there? Um, right now? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, so good, you got to go back in. Okay, so let's go ahead and go ahead and take a forward fold. So you can take it standing if you like, because you're there, and you can take it seated. It's typically done um, seated, but 
standing when, once you've gotten up there. So, so the practice would be in a Mysore room where you do your three back bends, you've done them on your own, and then you come up to standing after the end of your third back bend and you step, stand at the front of your mat with your arms crossed. And that indicates to your teacher that you're ready to have your drop backs. Oh. And first you get three dips. They, they change it around sometimes. So they used to have this one where you, you would cross your hands and I would dip you to the top of your head. Oh. And you would do that. So you would go down with your arms crossed? Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah but I'm assisting you. Okay? Yeah. I'm assisting you. And then you stay down there with the top of your head on the floor. Um, or you do, yeah, I guess you drip down. They've, they've gotten rid of that. Now it's just like a dip, mm -hmm. like three dips. Three dips, and then you release, and, the, and you take your arms up, and you go back, and your teacher is there for you, and you breathe some breaths, okay? So that's before you know how to drop back on your own. When you do know how to drop back on your own, you still wait for this, because this is nice to have this done, but then you just do, it depends, you know model better. Okay, so let's take a vinyasa to the floor. So inhale, take your arms up, please. Palms press the thumbs. Sway, exhale, fold forward. Drop the head, look at your nose. Tree, inhale, energy into the hands. Tutori, exhale, back and down. Punch, inhale, upward facing. Shot, exhale, downward facing. Soft inhale, jump through. Exhale, lie down. Okay, so do you guys want Blankets for your shoulder stand? No, oh, thank you. No? Okay, all right, very good. All right, you may, both of you may end up hitting the wall when you go into plow. So just bring yourself forward. That's what we have to do anyway with, with shoulder stand because there's always somebody behind us. <laughs> so, all right, so go ahead, go on up into shoulder stand. So Lamba Sarvangasana. Elbows come together, legs are strong. Inhale. Exhale. Walking your hands up the back as much as you can. Projecting the feet and the legs strong up. So inhale here and exhale, plow pose, halasana. Let the toes be pointed and release the hands and interlace the fingers and press the arms down. Good. So I often say that this can be a little tricky for people with tight hamstrings, so be careful a little bit with that. Probably not, you know. Let the toes point. Ruji used to say, loose the toes. Yeah, for you, whether they point or not, is probably a little immaterial. So here, rest your legs on my hands. So that might be something to have some support and do it. Bend the knees, please. Karnapidasana, this is the ear pressure pose. Knees gently squeeze the ears. Toes are still pointed. Sometimes people like to undo their hands at this point, kind of looks cool. <laughs> yeah, so, because you're gonna need them here in a second. Let's go ahead and inhale, take the legs back up to shoulder stand, and then exhale, put them into lotus, the legs. Okay. All right, lotus or something that looks like lotus, okay. <laughs> Have you, you, have you got, you don't have lotus? I'm not hands free. Okay, not hands free. Well, use your hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I get it. Right. Okay, hands hold the knees. So this is where I really need a blanket. This is where I roll out. This, <laughs> it looks like you guys might see Okay, so let's go ahead and roll out. Let's go ahead and roll out. Sit up a second. Can you take the lotus? Okay, good. All right, so let's show, show what fish looks like. It's fine. Okay, so now lay down, back down on your back, carefully. Okay, all right. Get your knee 
knees sunk back down on the floor. Lift up your chest. This is fish. Okay, good. Hands hold the lotus feet. Yes, good. Now drive your knees to the floor. Yes, there you go. What a nice fish you are. And then the yogi carries all of her possessions on her belly down the Ganga. Mother Ganga, what do you think? All right. Uttana Padasana. The legs straighten now. Okay, so this is sort of, I, I eventually call it extended fish. Legs straighten, palms come together. Palms more, um, yeah, down a little bit. Yep, down that way. Good. So sort of parallel. Good. Inhale. Exhale, release. Now, what actually happens here is there's something known as chakrasana. Can you do chakrasana, Christina? Um, backwards on the shawl. Oh, no. No, don't. let's not do that. Let's not do, yeah, we don't need to do that today. Okay, good. All right, so let's go ahead and um, you can roll your legs over, over your head and then come to standing. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's just, that's exactly yeah. so, okay, so, here, so here's how it, here's how it works. Okay. Let's see you do that again. Now, when you do that this time, okay, just be really careful. When you do that, when you get to the point where you're actually going over your head, okay, push into your hands, and then you'll be ready for chaturanga nadasana. Okay. All right. So bring them. Do come forward. Yeah. Okay, just, uh, just sort of do what you did before, but don't get, you know, and just see where you are. Push into your hands, push into your hands as you go over your head. Go, push. Yeah, so you're kind of a natural, you've got the, the good curve, whatever, that helps. This okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Push. Yeah, so it'd be good if you had more space, and then as you Get there, you sort of hop yourself into Chaturanga and Asana. All right, come oh, yeah, forward. Yeah, let's bring you back here. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, and come all the way up. Yeah, because you do need a lot of space. Kind of angled our way. Yeah, this. And then the Chaturanga. Remember, you want to be, you want to push into your hands as you go over your neck. That's you want to because you really don't want to roll over your neck. Yeah. You want to push and lift your head up and then you move forward. Not rolling. Now, children, did Exactly. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, you just have to practice that, you know, for the next 365 days. Okay. <laughs> Sheer Shasana, the headstand. Okay, so set up and prep for yourself so you can get your fingers interlaced. You need to be up against the wall, either of you two. No. Okay, good. All right, so you interlace your fingers. You Put your side wrists, side forearms, press firmly down. Come up into a downward facing dolphin where the head is not on the floor. Take the head off the floor, good. Now, as you set up now, walk your feet in over your hips. When you're about ready, place your head on the floor, find your balance, and let your feet float up to the ceiling. Good, press firmly down. Nicely done, legs are strong. I always think it's neat to look at people from the back in this. In the front, they look a little goofy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is typically something like 25 breaths. And Andy Pace told me that 25 breaths should bring us to what? To five minutes or to 10 minutes? I can't remember. Anyway, it was going to bring us a long way, longer than I thought I needed to be up in that stream. So after you take your 25 breaths, whatever you want to take today, you lower down halfway. So Arda Kirshasana. Okay, so Arda Kirshasana. And the feet project over there to that other wall that you're looking at. And you keep your belly in. You hope your back doesn't hurt. And then it's actually kind of tricky to take the legs back up. Ooh, yeah, it's hard. It's actually the truth. The hardest transition I find is taking the legs from halfway in one breath back to straight up, okay, and then immediately down. So it's just a matter of like 
So bend there and then down slowly, 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 slowly. And then you don't tip your head and you go into child's pose and you do whatever you like with your arms. Okay. Good. And you get five deep breaths in here and breathe into your back ribs. Feel that back ribs open with the inhale and the exhale. Softens in the front body and pulls the belly in. Okay, let's go ahead now and go up into your down dog and then hop through for sitting in the final poses. Okay, so the finish, so the shoulder stand and the head stand are part of the finishing, okay, and this, these next three poses, yeah, these next three poses are the short finish or the always do it finish. So full lotus if you can. All right, and I'm seeing that you're putting your left foot in first, which is fine. So I want you to twist to your, no, hang on. I want you to twist to your right. First twist to your right. Take your right hand around your back and take that foot. Okay, so if you're, yeah, okay. So I think this is the way we want to do it. Not sure. Okay, so take a twist around like that, good. Okay, now inhale, look over your front shoulder. Exhale, release. Twist the other way. Okay, so that is, hmm, this is not, okay. This is fine. We'll just do it another way. I'm just confused because of trying to do the side thing. So just breathe here a moment so you're getting this. And then inhale, look over your front shoulder. And exhale, release. Now go ahead and do the first way again, please. Okay, good. Now hold on to that foot and take your other hand around your back and get your foot. Pull forward. All you need is something, right? <laughs> okay, so this is yoga, so this is yoga mudrasana. Okay, so you don't have to keep your hands. I'll tell you. And this is the seal of the practice. So this is a mudra. So we could say that asanas are mudras. Okay? They're intentional positions. Okay, and let's come up with an inhale. And exhale, put your hands out in the on and mudra. So this is this is index and thumb together in our tradition. The fingers are straight and the arms are straight. The chin drops. You look off the tip of your nose. You draw your belly in with the inhale and tone in the pelvic floor with the rest. So these are the internal parts of the practice. Okay. So it's the drishti, the visual focal point. The bandhas, low belly pulled in, pelvic floor lifted, and the breath. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Plant your hands by your hips. And lift your bodies up. Move to One. Take rest. Let your heads be down at this end of the mat.
And wiggle your body to stillness. Let your palms face up. Don't let your arms feel bound into your body. Make sure that you like where you are on the top of your head. Notice your breathing right now. So notice your breathing right now and let your breathing go. Keep that scan through your body and look and see if every bit and piece is able to relax. Find where your body makes contact with the floor. Feel those spots. Relax into those spots. Let the mouth be soft. Feel it in your ears. Feel the outer ears. There's a bird. Feel the inner body. Feel the tingling sensations of the values surging through the body. The winds, the chronic winds. Find your breath. Anchor yourself with your breath. The beginning of the inhale, the inhale, the end of the inhale, where the inhale moves to the exhale, beginning of the exhale. The exhale, the end of the exhale, and the whole body swing of sensation, of stillness. Rest here. Keep your focus.
So I want to go ahead and read a little bit more today about Pratyahara, withdrawal of the senses, controlling the senses, shining inwards. So we never really encounter the world. What we experience is our own nervous system reacting to the world. Physics, teachers, physics teaches us that everything is energy and that at its deepest level, all things are interconnected. We see things as separate because of the limitation of our senses. This sense of separateness is an illusion. The self is beyond the senses. It stands apart, free and knowing. To experience the self, this infinite reality beneath the world of the senses, our consciousness needs to shine inward, away from external stimuli. This is the slow journey away from the duality of the senses and the mind, to unity and stillness, to a soul that has poise. Let's come up. We'll uh, chant the closing mantra that I have here. And I'll just say something about this as you're getting up to look at it. So the first part of this closing mantra is what most Ashtangis chant. The second part says the first part again. So the real key line in here is loka samasta suki no bhavan tu. Okay. So let's just stop at loka um, loka samasta Bhavantu, that one, <laughs> Suki no Bhavantu. Let's stop there and chant that three times. See how that works for us to try it that way. Okay. Om Swasti Prajapya Paripala Yantani Nayena Margena Mahi Mahisha Go Brahmana Pya Shubha Mastunityam Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Om Let us mute everybody, interlace your fingers, send your palms up to the ceiling, inhale breath, and exhale arms down to the heart center. Namaste. 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 Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So nice for you to have company. Very nice for me to have company. Okay, bye-bye.